Hello, I'm back after the fever. Now I feel better, even though you can see that I lose weight. I am back to teach you an important video today, give you some advice. So you can see on the board, I write important advice, important advice. I don't write important advices. They don't say advices. They say advice. Even you say a lot of advice. Do not put S in it. Good. Même là, parler de un conseil, deux conseils, trois conseils, un pile conseil. Donc, vous supposez utiliser le mot advice au singulier, right? Good. Important advice. Okay, now let's go to number one. Number one. Don't use a past form after two. You should know that. Do not use a past form after two in a sentence. Pas jamais utiliser forme passé de un verbe d'une phrase après. Two. Good. For example, I decided. Decided is the preterite of the verb to decide. Okay. Do not say I decided to, and then you use the past form of the second verb. Do not use the past form of the second verb. So, pas jamais utiliser form passé après tout, ou bien un deuxième verbe après tout. You say, ou pas supposé dire ça. Never say that. Ladies and gents, do not say that. What should you say? So use the base form instead. Ou supposé utiliser base form deuxième verbe cap venir. Ou pas supposé gagner deux passé là, deux formes passé. No. Say I decided to go early. Do not say I decided to went early. Don't put early because you should not put the past form after two. All right? Good. Ou supposé utiliser comme ça. Pas jamais mettre past form deuxième verbe cap venir qui est placé après tout. Donc après tout, pas supposé utiliser pass form. Good. So I think you're clear now in the first one. Okay, let's go to number two. The second advice. Number two is the second advice to speak English better. They say use was or were with born. Ça on dit là, il dit utiliser was ou bien were lorsqu'on va utiliser born. Born. Okay? So, ou pas qu'a dit, he born in Brazil. He born in Brazil. Ou pas qu'a dit ça. Ou supposé dit, he was born in Brazil. Si m'a dit, you, la bamboue, you were born in Brazil. Okay? And when you have a question, you say, were you born in Brazil? Okay? Was she born in Brazil? This is what you say. Okay, this is really important because I know many people, I hear people make mistake when they speak English, they say, uh, you, you born, okay? And I see that people make mistake when they write, when they are chatting together, they write this kind of English. Do not say you born or um, do you born, say was she or were you born instead of saying do you born or he born in Brazil. China, etc. Say use was or were with born. C'est ça qu'on dit. Utilisez was avec ou bien where. Ça va dépendre de qui pour non. Depends on the pronoun that you have before born. To be born means fait. Ok? Il signifie fait. Être né. C'est ça. To be born signifie. Number three. Advice number three. Adjectives are always singular. This is what you have to put in your mind when talking about adjectives. Don't think that you can put adjectives in plural. No. You say adjectives are always in singular. This is what you should know. For example, she has two importance. Do you see that? Importance meeting. No, no, you cannot say importance. So never put adjectives in plural. You cannot do that. Ou pas capable faire ça. You cannot say that. Ou pas qu'a dit ça. Do not say she has two importance. No, no, no. Never say that and never write that. Okay? She has two important. So take off S. Never put that in plural. Okay? Say instead she has two important meeting. She has two important meeting. Do not say she has two important meeting. No. Say, she has two important meeting. This is what you have to say. Good. Never put S in the adjectives. Never try to put the adjectives into plural. Pas jamais essayer pour mettre adjectif au pluriel. So, it's not good in English. You cannot do that in English. Good. 
Adjectives are always in singular. Adjectives are always singular. Never put them, never try to put them into plural. Okay? Pas essayer de mettre au pluriel. Ça, ou supposé qu'on a. Let's go now to number four. Number four, which is advice number four. Number four says, use the base form after dead. Use the base form after dead. It's similar like, like this. After two, use the base form. And after dead, use the base form. You know, you cannot use dead and you use the past form at the same time. No, it, it's nonsense. You cannot say that. Ou pas capable de dire ça. Sans sens pour utiliser dead et puis pour utiliser passé verbe là encore. No. For example, you cannot say he didn't worked yesterday. Okay? He didn't worked yesterday. No. You cannot say that. Ou pas capable utiliser did et puis pour utiliser prétéri du verbe là. So, you should take off. Let me take another color of marker. You should take off, guys. This sentence is not correct. You should take off ed here. Ed is not okay here because you have did. You have did. Lorsque nous gagnons did déjà, nous pas capable de mettre verbe là au passé encore. Ça va le venir gagner en sorte de collision de deux passés. Because did here does the thing. Did here is important. Did after did, you cannot use the past of another verb because did is in the past. Did li déjà au passé. Après did ou pas capable utiliser passé verb là encore. Quand did là li tout mette verb là au passé, donc on va utiliser base form là. Ça veut dire on va utiliser première form verb là sans que ou pas besoin mette le au passé. For example, you cannot say did went. You ou pas capable dire did went. On dit did go. You cannot say did spoke. On dit did speak. Okay, you cannot say did listen. What did did listen? Okay, this is what you should say. You should say he didn't work because I had worked. Worked is not okay here. It's not the right place for work. If you take off didn't, you can say he worked yesterday. So retire didn't la. Uka di he worked. Uka itize passe la. Okay. But the beginning didn't allow you to use the passive verb to work anymore. You say he didn't work yesterday. He pat travail hier. He didn't work yesterday. You didn't work yesterday. You pat travail hier. Okay? I didn't work yesterday because I was sick. I pat travail hier parce que j'étais malade. You cannot say I didn't work. No, double, double, uh, past form. You pat kavu use double past form. Okay? Good. You say, he didn't work yesterday. Until now, everything is good, everything is great, you're learning. Let's go now to number five. Number five is an important advice to better your English. Number five, là, sont belles, belles conseils qui peuvent améliorer l'anglais. Good. Don't use did with an adjective. Use was or were. Sometimes people make this mistake. Yeah. You should pay attention with that. You should pay attention with that, guys. Okay? Don't use did with an adjective. Use was because you should use the verb with an adjective. Use was because you should use the verb to be for all the adjectives. And present, you use the verb to be. You have am, is, are. And the past, you use the verb to be, which is was and where. Good. For example, why did you afraid? Why did you afraid? What did you afraid? Why did you afraid? You cannot say that. Ou pas capable de ça. Why you cannot say that? Because you cannot use did with adjective. Ou pas capable d'utiliser did avec adjective. Est-ce que là? So do not say did you for a question. Say was or where depends on the subject you have in the sentence. Good. Why did you afraid you say you because you say you were when using the verb to be in the past you say you were you were now you say why were you afraid this is not correct this is not okay do not say that ladies and gents do not put that because this english is not okay this english is not correct say 
Why were you afraid? Why were you afraid? O que saiu te pé? Why were you afraid? I was afraid because, you know, I'm like that. Or I'm like this. I was afraid. Anyway, I can't explain. I just see me like that. I, I was afraid. Why were you afraid? This is what your girlfriend can say to you. Why were you afraid when you saw my dad? Eh? Oh, I was afraid. Okay? So, use did is not okay. Do not use did when you have an adjective. If you don't know if a word is an adjective, you don't know what an adjective is. When you have a word and you want to use this word, before using this word, check the word in the dictionary to be sure that this word is an adjective and to know that you have to use it with the verb to be present, the past. And here we have was and where. Oh, I'm sorry because I put was twice. I should say where. I made a mistake. I put was twice. Mate, mate, was deux fois. Say was where. Okay, guys. Was where. Why were you afraid? Do not say why did you afraid. This English is not original. This English is not correct. Grammatically correct. It's not okay. Good. Let's go now to the last thing. The last advice to better your English today. Then you can say capa miliori anglais. Say use the correct word order in a question. Yes, this is actually important because I sometimes hear people use the questions in this way, which is the bad way. It's not correct. So. What do you say? You say, why you didn't return? Why you didn't return? No, 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 no. This kind of question is not okay. It's not grammatically okay. Vous pas capable de dire ça. J'ai des questions ça. Yo pas okay pour dire. So use the correct word order and a question. Ça, ça veut dire, ça veut dire utiliser un moyo en ordre lorsque vous même vous posez question. C'est ça pour faire. Good. Pas dire, why you didn't return it's like an affirmative sentence okay no no do not use it like this say instead why didn't you because the subject the auxiliary must be the, in the place of the of the subject and the subject should take the place of of the verb you should inverse them ou suppose inverser yo sujet a de prendre place verb là l'aime de une phrase affirmative when i had an affirmative sentence sujet a te prendre place verb là Verb la pour place sujet a and a question, okay? Non phrase question c'est qu'on s'allait inverser. If I say, for example, you did not, and a question I should say did not you, okay? Si on dégaine you did not, non question la did not you. You should inverse the subject and the place of the verb. Vous supposez inverser sujet a en place verb la. Good. If you use it like an affirmative sentence, it's not grammatically okay. It's not correct. You should say. Why didn't you return? Why didn't you return? Why didn't you return? Don't say why you did not return. Say why didn't you return? Why didn't you return? Good. I give you, I teach you today six important advice today for your English. Okay? If you want to better your English, I share to you six important advice. Je vais partager six conseils importants pour même qui veulent améliorer l'anglais. On allait dans le premier conseil là. Le premier conseil là, on te dit que on ne pas utiliser forme passé après tout. Même si on nous dit là, on ne pas dire on ne pas dire go. Ou utiliser base form là. Conseil numéro 2, on te dit utiliser was avec where lorsque on parle de born. L'expression to be born. Et l'expression ça allait conjuguer au passé. Américain, on dit I was born. C'est comme si on t'a traduit comme j'étais né. Non, français a dit je suis né, être né. D'accord? And number three, adjectif yo yo toujours singulier. Pas jamais essayer de mettre au pluriel. Never say uh, importance. Okay? Two beautiful girls. No, girls. Pas jamais dire ça. Pas mettre S. D'accord? Use the base form after dead. Utilisez base verbe là lorsque ou même ou bien des non phrases. Pas utilisons l'autre passé pour pas faire collision de passé. And don't use did with an adjective. Pas jamais utiliser did avec un adjectif. Did supposé utiliser avec des verbes ordinaires et là ça ou supposé utiliser base form ni. J'aime démontrer non là. Vous supposé utiliser de préférence avec adjectif yo 
auxiliary be, okay? Don't say, what did you afraid? Say, why were you afraid? Let's go to the last one, advice number six to finish. Use the correct word other in a question. Donc, il dit que vous supposez utiliser des questions en ordre lorsque vous même vous posez des questions. Pas poser des questions même genre avec lorsque vous faites une phrase affirmative. Vous supposez inverser le sujet lorsque vous avez un auxiliaire. Good. Thank you for watching. Merci parce que nous prenons le plaisir pour nous regarder. Partagez la vidéo ça, ce que vous appréciez. Faites-moi connaître dans les commentaires. Et puis, nous continuons à apprendre anglais ensemble. I love you so much. My name is Daniel. And catch you for a better video. Bye.